What's up guys, Blu-ray MP here with another review on episode 2 of Dragon Ball Super English Dub. Now, this episode was a little more better than the first one, a lot more better actually. I've been waiting for a Vegeta episode because, you know, he gets mad too easily. Well, let's just start off in the beginning. Goku did at a, well, what's it called, Spirit, uh, Chase Ship, whatever, I don't even know what it's called. It does a disappearing thing and appears in King Kai's planet. Now, King Kai's telling jokes with the uh, cockroach and bubbles. I forgot the cockroach's name because it looks like a cockroach. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're driving a car, uh, King Kai's doing his uh, comedy thing, like he did in, uh, you know, in Z and kind of the two new movies. Of course, when he tells a the joke, they don't get it, and he keeps saying, this is comedy gold and all that crap. Next thing you know, Goku appears in front of him and Kami goes out of control and, and just rams the car into his house. While Inkai is fixing his house, Goku's doing his eating thing with rice and all that. And he starts training. And we've been waiting for that too. Another trading montage sign. And all that happens and it cuts to then after the trading montage and all that happens. I think it goes to Vegeta and his family. Well first it goes to Boma into like a uh one in Caps Core planes. Vegeta's on top. Uh, Trunks is asleep in the back, and he just wakes up, and he tells Boma, if you just learn how to fly just like me and Dad, we wouldn't have to wait so long. And of course, Boma starts being smart and all that crap. <laughs> this is really cool, too. And she says, and then Vegeta says, this is not trade. Then Boma goes kick his in high gear and goes underwater. Vegeta stays still and keeps standing up with the evil look like that. And then he goes through a bunch of trees and she goes through a bunch of trees and all that. He still doesn't move. Still doesn't move and everything. So, they arrive at this amusement park, whatever. We're looking for clothes for uh, trunks. Bum asks him, so why would we even get to go on a trip? We usually don't. So. But I guess it flashbacks into like, uh, I guess in Z, where they're training or whatever. Uh, he told trunks, you can get a hit on me. You can hit me in the face. I will take you to the music park. Well, it's kind of like a resort thing, but it's still kind of a music park and everything. And after that, they go eat. And as you see, there's a squid right there. That's probably the funniest scene in this whole episode right here. Vegeta starts eating the squid, and that bomb on the truck starts eating the squid too. He said, I can eat your whole race. Then the squid inks him all over. So, here I thought he was going to destroy the squid, but he didn't because of Boma. Boma meant not to, which was really funny too. Then, I guess after that, then they go into that like, like a crosshair or whatever. 
so... Then his dance thing, and I guess he's getting into like a mosh pit because uh, people are hitting him. And he's like, I'm the one who defeated Majin Buu. They should be kneeling down. And not hit him. Because his voice, man. <laughs> and he gets really mad and jacked off. He needs to do that, like, I don't know, maybe like Super Saiyan thing, like Super Saiyan Sonic. Uh, Sonic Boom or whatever makes everybody kneel down and he did that long scream too while he done it blew the guy who was actually doing the concert thing on the microphone flipped him over like three or four times into the freaking wall and then he flies away and goes train and goes uh, training in uh, like a capsule board thing Then he kicks the saying, I give Goku that. And he like talks to himself or whatever, talking about how better Goku is than him at training. And after that, it becomes Beatrice and Whis. And it goes like to a different planet or whatever. Um, and this guy destroys a dragon or whatever. This kind of alien dude with four arms. And a bunch of other little aliens like him carrying the thing. And Luis just wanted to get it. Save his planet just to make Pierce just happy. Like always. Then time ran out of him talking to him. And Beard just come in and he says time's up. I want it now. Then the four the four armed, like four armed person, whatever alien kind of thing. They're like the super saiyan thing, turn into like a different version of it, like a bigger, badder, muscular dude. Then starts fighting Beard says, and he's just fighting with his index finger man like he did in uh, Battle of the Gods we uh, uh Supreme Three he's doing that then he does like a uh, those breathing fire thing then destroy Beatrice tries it again and then he said oh this is yours and blows it back at him. Then now he doesn't want it. He doesn't want the dragon meat or whatever. He thought it was going to be really good. And as we're, while he's fighting, he's trying to remember the premonition of the Super Saiyan God. He's got the super something for right now. Then when he blows up the planet, yes, this is Beerus's first blown up planet, even though he did blow up half the planet. In the first episode, that's only half. So technically, that was only half, and he just blowed up his first planet in. Dragon Ball Super. Then he gets like a vision of, while it's blown up, it's like in yellow flames or whatever. And it gets like a glowing body shape, almost like Goku, but you can't really tell right now. And that's when he says, Super Saiyan Sun. Then it goes to like, uh, uh, the, them two Kai people or whatever. Kami or whatever, what is his name? With the earring, the old man with the mustache. Another dude with the Kong knob. He feels that there is a problem. He feels the planet blowing up because the beer turns and he's telling and they're playing checkers or whatever or chess whatever it's called um and he tells the guy with the pony on right in front of him you don't feel that he said what another planet got destroyed by beer 
being after that. I think the episodes are being just, I mean, it's only four or five minute episodes. So, yeah. so if I left anything out, guys, I'm sorry. I only watched it once last night. I, I couldn't stay up till 11. I only seen it at 8. I went to sleep. So if I'm missing out something, dude, I'm, I'm so sorry. I can't really remember the rest. I'm going to remember the good parts. Like Goku's turning uh, the funny family trip with Vegeta, Bama, and Trunks. And the funniness of King Kai and Goku. And Beerus is destroying this first planet and got in this first fight. So, yeah. Now, I think the third episode is going to be even more better. There was a. Uh, trailer for it. I didn't even watch it. I heard it until like the next room while I was in my bedroom. Like going to sleep and my TV was still on in my, uh, my gaming room. I still didn't hear it. So I will get back to you on that with another video after this. I did the previous one. Tell you my predictions about episode 3. What's going to happen. What I think is going to happen. Then do this thing again. And this time I'm going to watch three showings of it or the two showings of it because I kind of feel bad for not watching the rest of it and not watching that two times and get just of it so yeah if you like these videos man please like it uh, please comment down below sorry guys please comment down below how are you liking Dragon Ball Super so far I'm loving it right now. And please subscribe. Please check out the Twitter page for more updates and pickups and all that stuff. Upcoming videos and stuff like that. And um, if you're liking the series I'm doing about Dragon Ball Super, tell me about it. If you're liking it or not. And stay on you guys.